Hey everyone, Dana with the OT Guide. Today I'm gonna to share a virtual scavenger hunt activity I made for my older students who are working on their computer skills and they're working on their typing goals. So if you have any students that fit this description, this activity would be perfect for you. If you want this activity, all you're gonna do is copy and paste the link I provided in the YouTube description of the video to your browser and then download yourself a copy and you can edit and customize it as you want. But uh, let me show you what this activity looks like and, and how you would use it during in-person or, or teletherapy. So, step one, they're going to be practicing their typing. So what is their name? They type it below. And as you can see, each slide has a different challenge. So this one is highlight your name on the previous slide in yellow. So just in case you guys don't know, the way you highlight is you drag your mouse over a word and then up here you click the highlight and then you can select the color. The next challenge is learning how to bold. The bold function is right next to the highlight function, so it's this B. So they, their students would just have to click on that. Uh, what's your favorite activity to do in OT? So they're going to practice their typing, underlining. Underlining is up there by bolding, uh, italicizing. They're going to practice using different fonts. So just so you guys know, to change fonts, you just copy what, whatever you want to change the font of, and then you go up here where it says Arial, and then here's Comic Sans. They're going to make fonts bigger and smaller, type their favorite animal. They're going to do a simple Google search and insert an image. So let's say here, I'll show you guys how to do that. So copy and paste a picture of your favorite animal from the web below. So they'd go to insert image and then search the web. They would, let's say they like the dog, they would type in dog and then, oh, I like this puppy. They'd double click that puppy and they would put the puppy on the slide drag and drop it to make it a little smaller, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, they're gonna insert a square onto the so slide. So look, I give you also little instructions. So they go to insert, shape, square, and then they draw it. So working on their mouse control skills. They get to practice changing the background of slides. So what they're gonna do here is they're gonna click on background. So I want them to change it to a beautiful beach theme. So you just type in beach here. Let's have them make this the theme. The theme. Does that work? Yeah. They're gonna color these shapes. So you just click on one and you cl click this paint on whatever color they want, dragging and dropping, uh, using the scribble function to draw a picture. So scribble, you just click up here. It's next to line, arrow, all these other functions. You click scribble and they can draw. The next one is find three images on Google. And then that's really it. But as you can see, it's really easy, it's fun. It's just teaching them like the most basic of Google slide functions. So if you're doing this during teletherapy, what you would do is you could either share your screen and give over control, if that's an option for you, if, that, if your platform allows you to do that, or alternatively, you just give your student the link. So click share, you make sure it says right here, anyone on the internet with this link can edit, then you copy the link and you send it to your student. So I send it to my student through their, the chat, but you can email it to them. And then when they click on the link, you'll see that you're both working on this shared document. Anyway, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys have fun. And uh, as always, if you benefit from these activities, subscribe to my channel. It supports what I do. And I look forward to seeing you all here next time. Bye.